There isn't just one kind of rock. Rocks are different. There are softer rocks, such as limestone, and there is harder rocks, like granite. These ones here are all parts of a granite. There are different forms of granite. There you can see. Uh, they are they differ in color, but they all have some white in them, some black, and you can see this one, granite is a result of uh, lava flowing out of a volcano. There. But then again, just as there is not one kind of rock, uh, these rocks can be uh, made into smaller parts and uh, not only in terms of big rock, small rock and even smaller rock, but uh, even smaller than smaller rock. Granite is made of mica, which could be represented by this dark black material here, mica. It is also made of feldspar, which could be represented by this pink, uh, pinkish, or sometimes it's darker brown. And granite is also made of quartz. And probably this one has the most quartz in it. It's basically quartz is all of these white uh, particles the black ones are mica and the rusty ones if there's any rusty bit on this one uh, maybe that little bit but that could be gold as well or something along those lines so that would be feldspar now so rocks are made of mica or feldspar or quartz. But that's not the end of it because mica, feldspar and quartz are made of even smaller components and those smaller components, for example, uh, they, all of the smaller components are called compounds. Chemical compounds. Just as these parts of the rocks are called minerals. Okay. When the big rocks break up into smaller and smaller uh, until you're down to sand size, it's still not small enough to be mineral. Minerals are smaller parts than sand. And the minerals are made of compounds. Quartz is a compound that contains a lot of silicon and a lot of oxygen. And feldspar has a lot of aluminum and also has oxygen and these elements are combined to uh, make minerals but these compounds again for example quartz would be silicon, di silicon dioxide like so feldspar has a little complicated it's got more aluminum more oxygen and more other elements in it but uh, these, these uh, compounds here can be broken down into elements. Where do I write it? I write it here. Elements. There. Oxygen is an element. Or silicon is an element. Or aluminum is an element. You can find these elements over there in the periodic table of elements. I zoom in, thereabouts. We have aluminum there, silicon next to it, and there's oxygen. And there's a whole bunch of other elements that make up compounds in rocks, that make up other different kind of minerals, not just quartz, feldspar, or mica. So basically, that's the answer to what rocks are made of. All rocks are made of elements and those elements form compounds and those compounds form minerals and different minerals make up different rocks.